So I thought I'd put together a video on how to update Graupner receiver firmware so I can refer to it in another year or so when I need to do this again. So I got a few things here. I've got my Graupner receiver uh, and a few more to do once I've got this down. Uh, I've got a few others that I already updated. They're good to go. So anyway, this one, uh, we've got the receiver and we've got the Graupner interface and conveniently enough the USB cable for the laptop is the same as the uh, charge cable for the transmitter. So we've got the, the uh, interface that is run to the receiver and it's hooked up in the uh, telemetry port, the one mark T, uh, whichever one that may be, depending on the receiver version. And the other connection we have is to the battery. So we have power to the uh, receiver when we need it. And that can be plugged into any open port in the receiver. And then we've got a switch because we need to be able to turn on power and turn off power in a way that works with the software. So on my laptop, I have firmware update for Graupner Studio. Double clicking on that will open it. And for the menu, um, we want to go to device, HOTT device. No, this one, bus firmware upgrade, it's not what we're looking for. <clears throat> so that opens up our window and we have the uh, auto download button. Now we'll need to push that and then there'll be, I don't know, five or six seconds that we can have the opportunity to push the power on, and the uh, set button on the receiver for it to sync up. So we'll hit auto download, we'll move to here, and hold the set button and turn it on. And yes, it does recognize the device that it is. And here is my GR12L software. So I will go file download and it will take it from there. Flash programming underway. Download process complete. And then it gives me a note on how to initialize the uh, receiver. Uh, once I'm unhooked from the telemetry port, I will turn off the power to the receiver. Then I will press and hold the set button, switch the power onto the receiver, and then uh, after a couple of seconds, the light will go out or change state. So I'll hit OK to that. And let's give it a try here. Unhook the telemetry. Turn off the power. Do this so you can see the state. This might be a trick to hold the camera and do it all at the right time. So power off right now. Pressing and holding the set button with the power off. Power's coming on and I'm holding. It's blinking at me. All right, now it's after three seconds, it changed state so I can let go. And then the fast blink is something the, uh, 
I may have to try that again. Doesn't hurt to do it a second time. So power's off. Powering on while I'm holding. Three second hold. And then let go. Now it seems like it's stabilized. So I think we're good. Now, one note, uh, I've got a, a 2S A123 battery for the receiver, and that is what I use in a lot of my planes, so that's good. And I also have my battery checker, so I can make sure I have enough voltage to make it through all the trials. If the receiver power goes out, that doesn't help you much. Strange things can happen. Anyway, that's my summary.